Hey there, everybody. Hey, Graham. Hi, Bajir. Hi, everybody. Graham, uh, this was a hand that uh, just came up naturally, uh, and I had some questions about the bidding and the auction, what our options were and what, uh, what we should consider. I was hoping we could just look at it together and maybe you could uh, talk us through it. Sure. Let's have a look. Uh, so we are set up ACL today, uh, four card majors and uh, 12 to 14, one no Trump opening. Let us know how that might affect things. But I, I think the questions that come up here are ones that would um, be interesting to everyone. Sure. Right. So you're, the system only matters for opening bids and responding. We're, the, we're in the overcall position here, so it doesn't matter what system we play. Uh, so what have we got there? 10, 18 high card points. It's always fun when they open the bidding and we have a, a hand and want to compete. It is, and we certainly want to compete. So uh, I could bid one spade here, and that's fine. The only thing is that an overcall, normally a one-level overcall is kind of 10 to 15 points, something like that. Mm. If I overcall one spade on this hand, partner won't know that I'm so strong. So I'm going to double first and then bid spades next time. Now, just... Remember that a double can be one of two meanings. A double could, in this position could either be that, that I've got an opening hand and support for the unbid suits, or I've got a hand that's too strong to overcall. Which, but, which, and so we'll look for the chance to let partner know that that's, um, it's, right. It, right, too right. strong for an overcall. Right. So here we go. So West then bids one no Trump. And this is, I, I imagine this relates to that meaning of the double that we placed. But a question that I have is when and if we, when do we want to bid after the opponents bid one no Trump? Okay. In general, the simplest way of thinking it about it is we want to double when we've got something extra to say. It's all, always the way. If you describe your mm. hand, that's it. You can stop bidding. You can leave it up to partner. Mm. So if I had a normal takeout double, mm. you know, 12 points, support for the unbid suits, I've said that when I doubled mm. and it heard me and partner's passed. Mm. So, so if I had that, I wouldn't be bidding again. But in this case, I do have something extra. I don't have that first hand that partner thinks I've got. I've actually got a strong hand. It wasn't just a takeout double, and we haven't gotten a chance to tell partner yet. Right. So now when we bid two spades, which we're going to do, partner will know we've actually got a strong hand with at least five spades. If we just had the normal double, we would pass. The partner will know we've got a strong hand, and there we go. We are in a two-spade contract. And... Okay. What's what? What is that double called? How how do we refer to that double? So if it's not a takeout double, it is. It's like a. It's setting up to show that uh, it's an overcall with strength, essentially. But how do we refer to it? Well, it's still a takeout double. Okay. It's just that a takeout double can be two different types of hands, and. If it's the first type, if, it, if it's the normal support for the unbid suits hand, we're going to double and then probably pass. We might support partner suit, but that's all we're going to do. If we double and then bid a different suit, then partner knows that we've got the strong hand. It's really as simple as that. I see. And, and that would be the case even if, um, if West passed and partner responded to the double. If we bid after that, it would still be communicating the same thing. Right. If we change suit after that, that's if right. If we change suit after. Yeah. Got so, it. you know, if I, if I double saying I've got support for all the unbid suits and partner bids clubs, that's because partner wants to play in clubs. If I then right. go and play spades, then... We better have a good reason for it. There you go. So try, you know, you can play that hand in your own time. We're in a pretty good contract that mm. may or may not make, but the bidding was good. We've shown the hand well. Great. Well, thank you for uh, guiding us through that. And um, 
Uh, maybe we'll follow up with another one uh, related to some of the questions here, but especially to help us know when uh, our own bid after a takeout double can communicate more to partner. That's helpful. Great. Thank you, Graham. Thanks, everyone. Thanks all. Bye.